day everyone, my name is Kyle Angelka Koi, a BS at Science student from NMSC. For today's video, we will going to identify and discuss the benefits and drawbacks of the set implementation, which are the teacher qualification, the teaching experience, and the scholarly works or what we call the research. And so, let's find out first what are the benefits of the teacher qualification. The first benefit of teacher qualification is that they offer different techniques. While qualified teachers are able to offer a variety of different techniques and methods for students to learn. This may include hands-on teaching, allowing the student to interact with what they are learning or having them explain it back in their own words. One of the best examples for this is the visualization. It brings dull academic concepts to life with visual and practical learning experiences, helping your students to understand how their school applies in the real world. Examples include using the interactive whiteboard to display photos, audio clips, and videos as well as encouraging your students to get out of their seats with classroom experiences and local land trips. The second benefit of teacher qualification is that they are well-trained teachers. Well-qualified teachers promote teachers' teaching skills, master novel knowledge, develop better or newer proficiency in improving students learning they have been trained more than anyone else when it comes down to how people learn differently from person to person and they know how to teach individual and make learning fun and exciting for students training sessions are needed to help the teachers learn or create new teaching strategies which will bring back the interest of their students in the classrooms and encourage them to learn. Researchers and some studies have shown when teachers are good at class management, students show much more interest in the classes and have better education outcomes. One of the example for this is that as a teacher, you are a role model who sets tone for the class. If you are able to show enthusiasm and commitment to your students, you are more likely to reciprocate. The third benefit of teacher qualification is that they help students develop self-esteem. Well-qualified teachers also help students develop self-esteem and personal responsibility. Value each student for his or her individual strength and abilities. Do not compare students to another. Teach students to recognize and value one another's differences and give individual rather than genetic whole group and praise to students can see how their individual contributions matter. Examples are the following. Greet every student at the door with a smile and say his or her name. Second one is to encourage the student to advocate for themselves. And lastly, provide opportunities to give feedback to students that are not just grades. On the other hand, these are the drawbacks and difficulties of teacher qualification. One of the drawbacks of teacher qualification is that the lack of resources for teaching and learning. The lack of resources in classroom can cause extreme distress on the students and teachers. Not only are the students and teachers in distress, but they are unable to learn to their fullest potential because they are not being given the proper resources. The examples of the resources materials are like cards, poster, whiteboard, chalks, play a significant role in the learning. According to Clark and Stair in 1955, found that teachers are responsible for poor performance of students due to teaching methods which they use which show lack of commitment in preparing and imparting knowledge to students. They believe that variation in teaching methods by teachers tend to improve 
performance and that methods of teaching should be child-centered rather than teacher-centered. The second drawback of teacher qualification is that their students are in ability to understand the lessons that they taught. For some teachers, students are having a difficulty to understand the lessons because maybe some of the reason the teacher did not deliver the lessons well in which the teacher may not have made the subject interesting, relatable, or relevant, or the teacher may be inadequate, unprepared, unstrained, and unrelatable. In dynamic learning situation, once again, it is important for information to be introduced in a way that learners can relate to it based on their existing knowledge. For example, you are applying as a school public teacher Demonstration teaching is one of the major requirements in order to be qualified in the public school, but suddenly during the demo teaching, the observers notice that you are unprepared and the students did not understand the lessons that you've taught to them, in which it has a greater chance that you might not be qualified as a public school teacher. The third drawback of teacher qualification is the deficiency in content knowledge. Content knowledge refers to the body of knowledge, facts, theories, principles, ideas, vocabulary, which teachers must master to be effective. Lack of content knowledge is problematic in teaching classroom subject areas in education. New study finds that teachers are lack of knowledge, their students fall behind. Teachers should have a deep understanding on the subject they teach and corresponding curriculum. The mastery of subject content by a teacher greatly determines the quality of teaching and subsequent learning. The teacher with good knowledge of the subject matter is able to plan and teach the lesson well. And now let's discuss the benefits of teaching experience. The first benefit of teaching experience is that teachers can relate their subject area to their real-life circumstances and offers practical illustrations in order to enhance student learning. Teachers need to understand subject matter deeply so that they can help students create useful cognitive maps, relate ideas to one another, and address misconceptions. Teachers need to see how ideas connect across fields and to everyday life. The second benefit of teaching experience is that teachers are being enthusiastic about the subject area and having a good communication to the students. Teacher enthusiasm sparks the curiosity of students and jumpstarts their motivation to learn. Teacher enthusiasm can lead to the better teaching evaluation, positive attitudes toward teachers, better student performance, and improved classroom behavior. And lastly, teachers learn best by studying, doing, reflecting, by collaborating with other teachers and sharing what they see. When teachers come together to learn information, resources, ideas, and other expertise, learning becomes more accessible and effective for students. Collaborative teaching environments provide the opportunities for teachers to learn from each and with other ongoing basis, and teachers can observe other teachers in action, engage in professional conversations about the impact of different approaches, and get feedback on their own teaching. On the other hand, let's discuss the drawbacks and difficulties of teaching experience. The first one is knowing the students well. It is imperative for a teacher to form a healthy bond with the students and every effort should be made by a teacher to know their students well. The interaction should extend well beyond the classrooms. For example, as a teacher, in every first day of the class, a teacher should be a friend first and should be shoulder the responsibility of the grooming of their students with warm and a cheerful disposition. Students should feel free to broach any subject and express all doubts whatsoever and a teacher should be approachable and accessible. A broad mind 
and a friendly attitude on the part of its teacher will make all the difference when it comes to knowing about the students well. The second drawback of teaching experience is by understanding the different learning abilities and capacities of the students. The biggest challenge for any teacher lies in the understanding with the different learning abilities of the students. Students' memory, concentration, ability to learn and write and show the varied interest in various subjects. For example, a student is good at mathematics may find grasping the concepts of biology difficult. So also, a student may be good at sports and other curricular activities but does not show the same attention and interest when it comes to academics. Some students are exceptionally brilliant and hardworking, while others are slow learners who struggle to understand what is being taught in the class. How does a teacher handle different students? A good teacher will always focus on the low learners takes them into his domain and nurtures them with care and concentration. The third drawback is that when the students underperform. Today, the students not only have to cope with academic peer pressure, but also have to deal with unrealistic parental expectations. This is leading to unprecedented stress in the students. The biggest challenge for any teacher will be as to how to motivate, guides, and encourages the students when they are underperform, lose their focus, and are distracted due to the various circumstances. Example for this is that lending a shoulder, a word of comfort and support, instilling confidence and a positive attitude towards the students and their tough times is bound to bring a sea change in the lives of the students. And now let's discuss the benefits of scholarly works or what we call the research. The first benefit of scholarly works or research is that research helps to achieve your goal. A research scholar can complete his research degree without conducting proper extensive research in his or her subject. He goes on to carry research work by observation and exploration that helps the scholars to get closer to his or her target and submit the thesis for consideration to the super supervisor. The second one is that research develops understanding and decision making. It is the most valuable tool to understand the complexities of a problem, disapprove lies and uphold truth, and build to create knowledge that is reliable and authentic. Conducting research develops a better understanding and enhances the decision-making capabilities, and researchers analyze the detail of a project and help take the right and well-informed decisions. The third one is that research reveals new ideas and facts. Research sparks new ideas and facts and enables the researcher to draw novel conclusions about his research topic. The more deeply one researches on a particular subject, better he may get into a field and properly help positions his or her ideas. Research stimulates different ideas and helps build discerning and analytical concepts. And now we will be moving on to the drawbacks or difficulties of the scholarly works or research. One of the benefits of the scholarly works or research is that the lack of motivation. For any individual, it is a long project so your motivation will dip and peak along the way. Set yourself some short-term tasks when lacking motivation so that you can start to make progress again. Identify that motivates you and give yourself regular rewards. It is easier to motivate yourself if you know where you are headed so plan your research project and keep track of milestone achieved. The next one is the poor time management. Try and spend time planning. Make sure you are devoting an appropriate amount of the time to the tasks you are undertaking and then review how things you are going. If you are not achieving your goals, think about why and make a change. More advice on time management is available. The last one is the lack of self-confidence. Doing a doctorate can be highly exposing. Be aware of your level of self-confidence and self-belief. 
If it drops, try to boost your confidence by seeking positive feedback, acknowledging your achievements so far, taking stock of your competencies, and lastly, stretching yourself by trying out new things. If your lack of confidence is seriously affecting your ability to function, then seek advice and professional help. And I think that's it. I hope you've learned something on this video. Always remember, set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Thank you and God bless.